What's good, y'all? This your boy DCPRT. Let's get into today's trade recap. Um, I traded GM me today. Um, first time trading GM me. I usually don't trade stocks that's in the 100s, but um, I seen the opportunity and I nailed it. Um, I also traded JAN also. So, finishing up a total $12,887 and um, just straight nailing it, man. Long and short on GM me. So, let's get into it. So, as y'all know, uh, GM, you had this big run up. Uh, went for the 40s, all the way up to the 200. So I knew it wasn't played the next day. Um, I didn't trade it after hours. I was just watching it. Uh, but I said, I mean, it's in play tomorrow. So I'm gonna take a stab at it. So that's what I did. And um, making 6,000. $124 going long on it and $1,450 going short on it. So, um, this type of trade is like for experienced traders. I don't advise newbie traders to go long on a falling knife stop. It's a lot of opportunities though. Um, nice bounces and stuff like that. I caught the bounce twice, making $10 a share on it. Twice. So, um, I seen it drop. My lines were sitting up here. I seen it drop and it got halted right here on this counter right here. Um, so I was like, when it opens up, if it start bottoming out, I'm going to take a long. When I opened it up and switched to this counter and made a wick, it held the bottom. So I went long at $140, $140, and I sold it at $150, making $10 a share. I only did like 200 shares. And uh, I banked on that, and then I seen it dropping. So I caught the following knife. I seen, I seen this big wick right here. So I ended up going along, catching this wick at a, um, at 105. Ended up selling at 115. Making another $10 a share of 200 shares. So I'm banking, man. Um, and then I took another long right here at 120 and sold it at 130. <laughs> you know, making another ten dollars a show. So I just kept making ten dollars a show every time. Uh, three straight trades, making ten dollars a share, and it totaled up to six thousand one hundred twenty-four dollars, right? Um. Then I seen it start looking weak, so I stopped flipping short. So I flipped short, went short at one twenty-seven, covered at one twenty-four. It started getting choppy, so I stopped trading it. Then it started opening it up. Then it started topping out. My lines was up here. It was it was reacting like a, a resistance level. So I'm going short at 145 and I'm covering at 142. Basically just scalping it, man. Um, cause it really wasn't moving like the open. It was like going sideways, as y'all can see. So I don't want to get squeezed. So I was just taking a minute to move. Shorted one more time at 140, covered at 137, and I was done with it. Um, you know, making like 7500. Just out GM me alone, trading small shares. Nice gain on that. And then I traded Jan, J A N. Uh, Jan ended up shorting at $12 and ended up covering at um, 11 You know, did 5,000 shares, making a dollar share, finishing up $5,313. So that's basically it, man. Um, but our, I'm really glad, you know. I went long on GME because I usually don't go long a lot and I ended up making the most money going long on GME so um, nice day today and um, yeah let's see a GME and play for tomorrow but that's it for this trade recap that's it for this video peace